everyone I just said I do a video just to show you the colors I'm gonna use next for my pour so I have like a powder purple kind of color and I have it looks red but it's like um I don't know like a magenta I think and then I also have yellow you can't really see it there because it's in a cup but yeah that's yellow and then I'm going to use bronze I think so watch the video and see how it turns out as a base instead of instead of using loads of white I'm going to do that instead of wasting paint so what I normally do is where is my palette knife this underneath so I have my palette knife so I have the pillow down so I'm going to spread it oh it's like a lovely peach colour actually so I'm going to spread it or pinky spread it all around and that'd be the base for the painting right so spread it all out evenly if I can I love doing this part. It it's very relaxing. So for people watching it though, you see bits. Oh, you missed that part. You missed that part. But uh, yeah. So I'm nearly there now. I'm gonna spread it all out, and then when I'm finished, I'm gonna air uh, pop the bubbles with the torch, and then I'll start putting down the colors. So that's that, and what I normally do is just go around the sides of it, so it's all kind of same colour. So make sure all the sides are done, and then I'm going to torch. So all the air bubbles are done, because when you mix the paint, when you're mixing around, you get a lot of air bubbles in it. So hopefully this works. So this is like a like a violet type of color. So I'm gonna put that down. Okay, hopefully that doesn't sink in. So I have my yellow. Then I'm gonna put in a lovely purple. It's lovely, bright, that's lovely. So then I'm gonna get um, a bit of bronze. Then I'm gonna put another bit of violet. Okay, then I'm going to put my yellow again. I hope this comes out right. Then my purple. So, and then I'm going to end it off with my brands. So what I'm going to do then is I have no pillow left. So I'm going to just to go around the outside but white. Hopefully this works. Right, so then you, we need to watch that to get rid of all the air bubbles in that so that's done and now we get to use the hair dryer to pour the colors over each other and then you can go them out so they mix together right then you can go out So I'm going to do this as well. Right. I'm going to turn up. not working either so I might do a ring pour no not a ring pour a dirty cup pour I think 
because that is not working out. So I'm going to do it this way, maybe. Right. I'm going to put in this kind of powder, purpley pink. Then my purple. Then I'm going to do the magenta. I'm going to do some yellow. Then I'll do the violet type of violet color. Maybe I do more powder blue or powder purple. Dark purple. Mm, not magenta, I don't like it. Yellow. Add a bit of violet. And I don't think I'm going to put in any white. Oh yeah, brands. I'll put in my brands. Okay. Top it off a tiny bit more purple. Or violet. So here we go. Look, you see the way it's layered? So hopefully this will work. I'm going to pour it on here and then tilt the canvas. So here we go. Let's see what way this turns out. Hopefully I'll have enough to cover the canvas, but I should have. So here, this is it. There seems to be too much white in the middle. Okay. So the cup is gone. So I will torch it. And then I will tilt it. Let's see what happens. I think it might turn out a bit mess, but you look. This, people think it's easy to do this. It's so hard. So we're going to keep turning it around. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, right? I might play with it now and I might torch it a bit and see what happens. Oh, so you're getting loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of cells. Yeah, so I'll give you a close up now and then I'll lift it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I might scrap it. I'm not very happy with it. It's too much white here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you a close-up of it. And you can decide, keep or throw. So yeah, I'm going to give you a close-up now. 